Hi everyone and welcome to Traditional Black Powder. Today we're going to spend a few minutes taking a look at the Duluth Scott Pack. Alright, so I'm going to have to do this one indoors. It is over 100 degrees out there today and it's just blistering hot so I apologize if I can't get uh, good enough lighting on this but uh, this will have to do for today. So I recently got this pack uh, as a birthday gift for my kids and uh, haven't tried it out, but I thought I'd give you guys uh, at least the first look and, and the first impressions of the pack. And so far I've been very impressed. It's the first time I've had any product from Duluth and from the research that I've done and seen on YouTube. Uh, most people that have this pack uh, really like it. And um, of course you have to use it within, given that you use it within uh, its limitations, uh, everybody's very content and happy with it. And I have to say that the materials that uh, these guys use, um, it's very, it's very nice. I mean the canvas and, and all the, you know, leather and um, buckles, they're very, um, very uh, high quality. So very impressed with it so far. Like I said, I haven't used it yet, but just looking at the materials and first impressions, this looks like a really high quality uh, traditional type pack. So let me give you some of the specs of this thing. First of all, the, they're guaranteed for life. So if anything goes wrong, you just send it back to them. They either fix or replace it. And it's a simplistic type of um, pack. It's pretty much an envelope style pack. So, you know, there's no real depth to it. It's just like a, a simple envelope that you would stuff things into it. And it also has some, turn it over, has some uh, brass rivets that are reinforcing the leather. And the hardware on the uh, pack itself, it's got some really nice buckles that are roller buckles. So it's kind of nice passing the le leather through there. So same thing on the front over here. And uh, the reinforcement is done really nice. I mean, if you look, let's, let me unbuckle this so you can see on the inside. So let's take a look, at, for example, at the flap. The way that it's stitched and reinforced with the rivets over here, it's very strong and a very nice stitching. If you look at uh, all the way through the bag, the stitching is done very well. And it's a very, you know, it's got an ample room in there to put your stuff in. And it does have, and it's like a, you know, a bucket style type of uh, uh, pack. So there isn't any internal components other than this pocket over here with a very nice zipper that you can put some of your maybe phone or personal things that you want to get easy access to. And uh, like I said, this is all thick 15 ounce, uh, 15 ounce uh, canvas. So very nicely done, very thick. And it's all made in the USA. USA. And uh, also you can tell who actually made it over here see if this thing will focus. This one was done by Tammy. So everybody that makes one of these uh, will actually uh, sign their name on there so you know who did it. And uh, very nice touch. And definitely a very nice uh, piece of equipment if you like kind of a traditional type backpack. Uh, I've been wanting these for quite a while. And uh, I gave my, my kids a hint, you know, hint, hint. Birthday's coming up and Maybe I'd like to have one of these if you guys don't mind. And you know, great kids that they are, they they came through and uh, gave the old man uh, this nice nice uh, pack. So the canvas material you can get it in so many different colors. You have to go to their website and uh, check it out. But the colors are uh, oh gosh, you got about ten or twelve different colors. This one is the one that came uh, waxed. It's called, it's called waxed canvas. And uh, basically, what they do is they uh, I think they put a layer of wax on it and it's a natural color and uh, it actually gives you a little bit more moisture uh, resistance so like I said I haven't tried it but you can actually feel it when you actually bend the material it does have something in it so so far so good I mean it's uh, it's a really nice pack and looks like it's really well built quality stuff from those guys and uh, if you're looking for something that's, you know, uh, more of a traditional style pack, this might be something that you want to look into. It's definitely a pack that uh, 
I don't know, it gives you, it, it's something different from everything that you see out there today. So if you're looking for something a little bit more traditional than say your, you know, most modern packs with modern materials, and don't get me wrong, I have a couple of them and uh, those are great packs also. But let's say that you're looking for something more traditional out of a more, more traditional materials. The Duluth Company is probably a, a good place to check out. If you don't like this style, they make uh, other styles that are either uh, a little bit more modern or also traditional and all made out of their uh, heavy duty canvas. And um, from an example of this one, it's, it's all very high quality materials. I forgot to mention that this particular um, backpack is uh, 17 inches tall and 14 inches wide. So definitely enough to get enough uh, stuff in there to get, you know, take care of you for the day, at least, at least for me, for what I do. And uh, it's definitely nice, uh, nice backpack to go, you know, do back to a traditional type of uh, style. I really, I think I'm gonna really enjoy this. Like I said, it's I've only had it uh, recently, not too long ago, and um, it's been given to me as a gift. And I'm gonna next hike that I take out, I'm definitely gonna take this out and try it out and see how it goes. May, maybe make a an updated video of uh, of the pack. So overall, I'm very impressed with the materials and and how they put it together. So then again, this is the uh, the loose Scott pack. If you guys are looking for something more traditional and just a change of pace, I suggest you check this one out. You may, uh, you may like it. Uh, so I'm trying to do a YouTube video about the bag the kids got me. And I have company. Hey, Daniel. Hey. What are you doing? Uh, the whole house, he's got run of the whole house. And this is where he needs to be right now. Daniel. Hey. You comfy over there? Oh, what a thug.